Hey there, can I interest you in some Galaxy S24 samples? Okay, we had a short hands-on time with the S24 Ultra, so we have a bit of a comparison for you. We took the same pictures with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra. And without further ado, let's just dive in. This is the S24 Ultra sample. First sight looks pretty good. We've got high resolution here, even if we, if we zoom in. Uh, we can spot a bit of noise reduction and some sharpening around the flower over here. If we compare this to the iPhone shot, iPhone S24 Ultra, iPhone S24 Ultra. You can see that the iPhone is a bit colder and as we zoom in, it looks kind of the same. Uh, in terms of uh, how the details are handled, I don't think. The next picture over is the one from the S23 Ultra. So we're looking at S24 right now. There's the S23 Ultra. Now again, let's compare colors. Very, very, very same-ish, similar, right? So let's zoom in on the S24 Ultra. Look at the de detail, look at the letters here. So let's move on to the S23 Ultra. Seems like a bit more jagged, right? Here around the leaves. The letters on the book still seem fine. So far, not huge differences, right? We've got the color balance between the iPhone and the Galaxy, which is very, very different. Here's the Galaxy S24 Ultra shot. It looks a bit um, hazier, like there's, like the contrast is lowered, because if we look at the iPhone shot, the blacks are deeper, right? And the uh, highlights are a bit brighter, maybe, or at least by comparison. And S24 Ultra just looks a bit softer, hazier maybe, but that's neither here nor there, it's fine. Let's look at the details in the leaves here. Pretty good. Let's compare that to the iPhone. <laughs> the iPhone's details look a bit softer, uh, which would make me call them a bit more realistic in this specific spot in the picture where I zoomed in. Okay, the S23, S23 Ultra shot definitely looks uh worse here <laughs> you can see like jagged edges around the leaves and it's all over sharpened then compared to the s24 okay that's better that is indeed an evolution here so the s24 ultra is now a little bit better than the s23 ultra still when it comes to comparing it to the iphone it's different but not necessarily better or worse and this is the last sample we have with the main camera here that's the iPhone, that's the S24 Ultra. Um, the color calibration here is not that much different. It's not like as we've seen in the previous two samples, right? It's a bit warmer on the um, Samsung, that's fine. Um, looks pretty good on the iPhone, right? I can make out the individual lines, I can see the threadings of some of these stripes. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's see how the S24 Ultra handled it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kinda similar, I think. But yeah, the S24 Ultra just looks a little bit softer. It loses a little bit of that super fine detail, but that's, that is nitpicking. Let's just go to the S23 Ultra now. Again, definitely the S24 Ultra did much better than this. Again, this is not a bad shot, but when you compare this, you know, you can see how the details get soft, muddy, blocky. You lose all of these individual threads. You know, that's definitely an upgrade. Okay, let's move on to what we really care about, the zoom samples here. Here's the S24 Ultra. Now that's a three times zoom, which means it uses its three times telephoto lens. Let's just check out the detail here. To be honest, we can spot a lot of noise in the leaves, so it's not super impressive. Now that's the iPhone photo here. Uh, first, take a look at that color calibration, look at the green from the Samsung and this is the green from the iPhone. The iPhone also had a lot of noise. I think it applied a bit more noise reduction. So let's see how the S23 Ultra does it. Huh. Immediately it looks a bit brighter, which is interesting. And we zoom in pretty much the same as the S24 Ultra I'd say so far, right? So this is Five times zoom with the S24 Ultra. This means the S24 Ultra has now swapped to its five time telephoto lens. You can see the difference, like a lot less noise here, a lot more detail in the leaves. The iPhone also uses a five time telephoto, the Tetra Prism lens here, and it's also performing pretty good. Again, not necessarily better or worse. Let's see the S20. Oh, 
Okay, that's the S24 Ultra and now that's the S23 Ultra. You can kind of see, at, at five times zoom, the S23 Ultra uses its three time telephoto and then crops in digitally and you can definitely see that there's a loss of quality here. It looks a bit washed out. You know, the highlights are maybe a bit overblown. The contrast is a bit off. Moving on to a deeper zoom, uh, the S24 Ultra has a five time telephoto and it uses AI trickery and crops into the sensor for that zoom. Samsung says it's lossless. You can definitely see like the details of the rock here are not perfect. I wouldn't call that lossless zoom. And the iPhone shot is not great as well. This is 10 times zoom with the iPhone and you can see a lot of noise. So yeah, the Samsung was definitely better here, right? What's interesting is that the S23 Ultra has a 10 time telephoto zoom, so uh, this should be natural to it, should be lossless. I would not say it looks better than the S24 Ultra, so congrats. The new zoom camera of the S24 Ultra is thus far doing better than its predecessor and definitely doing better than the iPhone. And now this is a final level, 20 times zoom. Now this is with the S24 Ultra again. Uh, at this point you can see that some stuff is beginning to get washed out or you know, there's a lot of noise reduction slash sharpening going on and the phone is desperately trying to balance between them. The iPhone photo, mm -mm, too much noise, like so much grain. I can barely see what the letters are about. Yeah. And that's the S23 Ultra shot again, not holding it together very well. All right, and just real quick, let's go through a couple of shots with the ultra wide camera. And this is the S24 ultra wide camera. Looks pretty decent. We can spot a lot of um, details even around the edges. I always go to the edges of the ultra wide camera first because that's where manufacturers apply distortion correction and all of that. And it looks like the S24 ultra does it really, really well. Let's see if the iPhone can do it as well. Now this is the iPhone photo. Again, look at the color difference. Galaxy is a bit warmer again. This is the iPhone. So look at the edge there. Looks a bit more washed out. Uh, not definitely bad. I can see some noise. And now the S23 Ultra Ultra Wide seems almost identical. Okay, we're on the S23 now. Let's look at these letters here. Yeah, okay, the S24 I think looks like a smidgen sharper maybe and another shot with the ultra wide s24 ultra ultra wide pretty good we've got a nice scene here let's take a look at these these books like nice colorful we can kind of sort of see the different pages let's go back to the iphone again different color cal calibration all around a bit noisier here then go to the s23 ultra a lot of over sharpening as soon as i open it anyway that was real quick look at the uh, samples we took with these phones for quick hands-on. The reviews are still pending. Stick around, subscribe. Did you drop a like? Drop a like. See you next time. Bye.